Good day, it's John Shimon Day of Agape Love Tashina Ministry, our weekly broadcast. And today we thank you again for supporting us, for your comments and your likes. And I need you to share this. Let it go further. Because we're going to talk about an important thing, about love of God. People are celebrating Valentine uh, today. And uh, we want to show you another dimension of love, the love of God. Uh, love the fruit of the spirit this is the title now i look from uh, i read from the galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 it says but the fruit of the spirit is love unselfish concern for others joy inner peace patience long suffering gentleness goodness faithfulness meekness temperance and self-control against such things uh, there is no law now what does all means Galatians has focused uh, on how God's Spirit gives us uh, who are in Christ power to love to serve others in love now Apostle Paul made two lists the first part of it is from Galatians 5, verse 19 to 21, when he showed us the sinful lifestyle resulting from a worldly me first. Most of us like me first. Most of us like me, 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 me. But love is talking about put the other person first. When you are celebrating, you need to put people first. Does that mean you abandon yourself? No. Because uh, scripture does also love others as you love yourself. Paul, second list now, uh, what grows from natural, supernatural love of God is uh, now telling us uh, that uh, this fruit of the Spirit, the totality of it is love. Just like the totality of uh, the Ten Commandments boils down to love. Because <coughs> if you love others, you will not do all those things that is mentioned in Ten Commandments. Now, what are these fruits we're talking about? Now I'm going to answer to you now that all other fruits of the Spirit are only the expansion of the first love. Let's prove it. Joy is love triumphing. When you have love, you triumph. You feel with joy. Peace is love resting. Long suffering is love under great trials. Gentleness is love under little trials of life. Goodness is love going forth into action. Faithfulness is love sitting and receiving back again to his own bosom. What you give is what you get, like we said last week. What you sow is what you reap. Meekness is love controlling the passion of the mind. Temperance is the same love subduing the passion of the body. Can you control the passion of the body? Love is not all about the body. It's mind, it's spirit, it's soul, engaging, working together. Fruit is not sweet. It's not a fruit. What is anything to God until there's love in it? Because God is love. Now let's talk about gentleness. Gentleness and meekness should not be misunderstood as weakness. Because some people some ladies uh, and some men also when you see somebody gentle you think they are weaker to be taken advantage of her it is not so in fact gentleness meekness is power it's a supernatural ability in the spirit's power not to demand control or be extreme in our response gentleness Self-control, temperance. God does not intend His Spirit to overcome our will and possess us. So we do not, He doesn't want to turn us to robotics. Instead, uh, 
in the context of relationship with him. Self-control is the supernatural ability to submit our will to his leading. You know whatever he says is best for us. Again, such there is no law. That means that uh, those who live their life adorned uh, by this above virtue that I have mentioned cannot be condemned uh, by any law. The whole purpose and the design of the moral law of God is fulfilled by those who have the Spirit of God producing in their hearts, lives, and preceding fruits. All the love, all the joy will come together. Now, beloved, you are going to celebrate the love of God. And you're going to celebrate the love of one another. And if you are looking for an ideas about love, I want to recommend something to you. Father, teach me how to love again. This book will explain and your mind about love of the Father. Father, teach me how to love again by John Akim Shumade. You can get it anywhere on Amazon, online, or whatever. You can get it there. Go and get it. Let it enrich your love. And leave that. Just so closing, I pray that you will know the length and the breadth of the love of the Father. I pray that in your celebration, you will remember the great lover loves you. And if you have not given your life to Christ, I call you out today. This is the time to connect with the love of your soul. It's calling you. It's romancing you. It's a come. I want to romance you. I want to take you to a higher level. I want to touch you in a place where no man can touch you. You. I want to touch you in a place where no woman can touch you. I'm taking you higher with me. Depth of love in relationship. I speak into your life right now. Receive it now. The Bible says in Romans 5 5, the love of God is made shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit. Receive it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As you watch over this world to perform it. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>